One of the things we have learned over 40 years is that here in New England, everyone has their own unique talents and tastes. Kind of like ice cream, <laughs> Anthony. We all have a favorite flavor. At Chronicle, we've tasted a lot of ice cream over the years and paid tribute to our own sacred cow. Are you ready for this? Uh-huh. Escaping it, New Englanders are obsessed with ice cream, and for decades we've been chronicling that icy love affair. That is addictive. <laughs> we've covered hundreds of ice cream makers from Brigham's, founded in 1914, to the arrival of Odd Fellows in 2019. But every ice cream story has to start somewhere. <laughs> That's right, cows. We'll have a glass of milk here in about uh, 20 minutes. <laughs> From our earliest days, cows have been Chronicle's unofficial mascot. They've appeared on the landscape of countless Main Streets and Back Road shows. So we couldn't help but get a little attached. Now, where can an ice cream loving, cow clad Chronicle correspondent find a kindred spirit? I want your coat. I want your coat. Hi. <laughs> Jamaica Plains iconic ice cream franchise, JP Licks, where we sit down with founder and cow lover, Vincent Petrick, whose business is also celebrating 40 years, despite some early doubters. The first article we got actually predicted our demise yeah. uh, because our flavors were not subtle at all. Like JP Licks, Chronicle also had its share of early doubters. One review calling us a mishmash as appetizing as a mayonnaise sandwich on white bread. But back to ice cream. Chronicle's history with JP Licks began 20 years ago when then anchor Mary Richardson dropped in for a visit. Coming up with the name JP Licks was tougher than it seems. Actually, it was our second choice, Mary. The first choice was virgin cream, but being a relative newcomer to Boston, I was told that I'd be picketed, probably stoned, by the good Irish Catholic uh, majority here in Boston. Who would misinterpret what you were doing. Exactly. In 2005, our paths crossed again. In a Chronicle show about eBay, we scoured the office for an example of something to sell. How about we try to sell this? The Chronicle cow lamp. I wanted that lamp because it was the most adorable thing I'd seen and it functioned. It seems that there are two of like Boston institutions that are coming together to celebrate their 40th anniversary. You guys and us. Congratulations on your 40th. We're going to make a special Chronicle edition flavor. Ooh. House brewed coffee ice cream with cookies. And I'm going to go ahead and stuff three pounds of cookies into this Chronicle cow. Mary would be proud. My personal favorite is a coffee Oreo. Made right here in Jamaica Plain. You're welcome. Enjoy. Chronicle Cow is actually the second ice cream named after the show. Longtime viewers might remember that on our 25th anniversary in 2007, Brigham's created a Chronicle Coffee Crunch. It's delicious, too. <laughs> nice to see our name well preserved in the freezer section. Coming up, over 40 years, we've met some truly unusual characters. We'll look back at some of the most memorable. But first, for one of our WCVB colleagues, Chronicle is all in the family. My first Chronicle memory was when I was seven or eight years old. Peter took the old Chevy up to a remote island in Maine called Vinyl Haven, where my mom's side of the family happened to live, and he ended up interviewing my grandfather. So from then on, Chronicle was a big show in our household, especially Maine. So cut to 2007, I ended up interning for Chronicle, and now here I am years later working in creative services editing Chronicle promos. 